Cars, but HM Plant wanted uh, him on his bike. How about that for a view? Well, if you're zooming in, there's a helicopter right in front of our commentary booth, climbing up, climbing, climbing, climbing. We can see that. You can see the pictures it's giving us. And there are the waves of guys setting off down towards that Primrose or Millbank Avenue of Primrose Hill. If you've never been to the Northwest 200, this is exactly what you are missing. So the first group away, and of course it's a mixture of 600s and 1000cc superstock machines. And again, this will be just getting their heads together on this lap, having a look around. Um, certainly everyone's had a look from their super bikes, but of course the super sport, a very different animal to uh, the bigger 1000cc bikes. Ryan Farquhar, the second bike in your picture now. One of the good things about super stocks and super sports, of course, going out, they would have come off tyre warmers, but treaded tyres. Yeah, Ryan Farquhar, we're just seeing in shots, I think, down there, and uh, I think the 600, it represents possibly his best chance of success this weekend. He's had loads of success at the TT and also at the Northwest in the past on the 600, and it's going to be his best shot, I think. Yeah, and it is such a fabulous class of bike to ride around here. Not quite as manic as riding a, a thousand super stock or super bike uh, a little bit slower top speed wise but very nimble very agile uh, and generally a lot of fun to ride because you feel as though you're sort of boss of the bike as the other way around uh, now we've got uh, an email here from roger lochlin um, and just wanted to say hello and thank you for providing such a great service i've just moved to scottdale in Arizona, and this is the first Northwest I've missed, but thanks to you guys, I'll not be missing it. That's in Arizona. Great stuff, and that's our furthest one so far this evening from the United States of America. The email address again, nw200 at bbc.co.uk. We'd love to hear your comments as well. This is down into University Corner. A yellow flag is out, someone's off. We've got a rider down there. We saw the yellow flag. Looks like someone just didn't quite make the corner, went up and over the kerb. I think Always it was tricky Rutter. that, because it, it could well have been. It looked like Rutter, but I'm not going to say it was, but from this position, I thought my immediate reaction was, oh, that's Rutter. But we'll find out, certainly, when they uh, start coming back round. But that is, that's the problem, isn't it? And you highlighted that before. The, the good fact is at Metropole and at University, it is slam on the anchors, but there is room for error. There is, um, and you try and go up the slip road or you go round the corner, not uh, where that went on. But maybe there's a bit of a problem there with Michael Rutter. If it is him, we'll wait and find out if that is the case. Uh, but just getting your braking point right, when you're doing 200 miles an hour, even these super stop bikes will be doing about 190, just miss it by a couple of metres and uh, you're, you've had it. You, you, you miss it by five metres at the other end. Well, everyone has their markers, don't they? And it must be so difficult to pick that marker up. Well, you look at the boards, there's 400, 300, 200, and then you judge if it's just before the 300, just after, just something like that. Sometimes you can use a tree, sometimes. Worst thing is using an ambulance because it can move. I've done it. <laughs> so we're still looking down, condition's perfect. This, of course, is coming down to the chicane before we get back on the juice again, down towards Metropole. And also, it's going to be very, very interesting because the 600s as well, certainly uh, in terms of um, times, the super bikes can be a bit spread out sometimes at the top, can't they? Three tenths here, four tenths there. The super sport, you could be running into the hundreds. Yeah, not a lot of difference on all the bikes that are out there. Uh, Performance-wise, very, very similar, uh, as we see in uh, world super sports and in British super sports, for that matter. Well, we've seen some really close finishes in world super sport lately as well, haven't we? Uh, yeah. Northern Ireland's very own Jonathan Ray involved not so long ago. Quick email coming in here from the Isle of Man, Richard Neal. Is there much difference between the setup of bikes for the Northwest and the TT? Uh, no. I'd have the same. About yeah. the same. That's a good chance to sort your bike out here at the Northwest 200. So that's the answer to that one. Yeah, 600s as well. You're talking 119 miles an hour, I think, around the Northwest. That's the that's certainly your top speed around here, isn't it? Pardon, sorry. The Super Sports will be around 119 miles an hour. That's what we'd be expecting. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, lap record here for Super Sport is Bruce Anstey. Um, and that's 118.407 set in 2007. Last year when Bruce Anstey won this race, of course. Well, it's not Michael Rutter because there he is. He's over the line. So uh, it was someone else. So apologies to Michael Rutter. So Rutter's through, Ian Locker's through, Bruce Anderson's through, Rob Frost, Guy Martin, Steve Brogan, Steve Blazer, Cameron Donald, John McGuinness, Keith Moore, Gary Johnson, they're all starting there. 
what will be their first time lap Ian Hutchinson goes through as well so 12 riders through Adrian Archibald Rob Ianson so I'm trying to work out uh, whether it may have been Guy Martin possibly that uh, went on he's not come through so far but then again that's not to say that he went out there's uh, Plater in yeah Steve Plater in again I think Phil's going to try and get a quick word with Steve if he can. I'll see he's walking Steve. away from him. Steve, is there a slight problem with the 600? No, no, fine. We're just, uh, I'm just working with electronics on this thing. All right. I'll leave you alone to get it sorted. Phil McCallan there with Steve Plater. So getting the electronics sorted. Um, not suggesting that that's a problem, but something that they're looking at. Yeah, well, that's these bikes run on laptops nowadays. As you can see them working away down there. They plug it in and uh, try and work out what's going on. Yeah, Steve Plater, so uh, he seemed happy enough, really, considering at uh, the start of this session when uh, Larry Carter had a word with him. It's, uh, everyone's through now. Farquhar's gone through as well. Carl Rennie, John Burroughs. Out of York, they go. Great pictures again looking down. I think that was uh, Ryan Farquhar. Yeah, Brian Farquhar on bike number three, the Winston McAdoo Kawasaki. And also, this part of the section, uh, well, this section of the course, Steve, is um, good to get some heat in the tyres, where you can work some heat in before you hit those big long straights, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, heat in the tyres is extremely important, as I said earlier on. These are all treading tyres on super stock and super sport machines. When you look at them, though, you'd hardly believe it. Uh, there's not, uh, you wouldn't really want to be running in the rain with them. There's not a great deal of cuts on them, albeit that they are road legal. They have to be for this class of racing that's going on. If you've just joined us, we're watching the super sport practice here at the North West 200. The super stock bikes, well, certainly Michael Rutter's super stock bike is out there as well. Uh, looking at the fancied runners anyway, I can't see anyone else that's out on the Superstock right now, since he's all the 600s, Ian Locker, and Steve, Rob Frost, Guy Martin, Steve Plater, Cameron Donald, and uh, also as well, we talked about the depth of field in the Superbike class, I think there's an even bigger depth of field in the Supersport. Yeah, there is, and, and again, very, very, very competitive, because these bikes are so, so close. Uh, they really are. So it'll be interesting to see who is doing what shortly because uh, they'll soon be coming down. The likes of Rutter and Locker and Anstey will be coming in to complete their first lap of tonight's practice. Again, how they finish in this session will determine their positions come Saturday. And of course you can watch some of the racing on the TV on Saturday. We'll have a superbike and a super sport race for you on BBC Northern Ireland. Just hit the red button. And you can watch us live, but we'll also be continuing the online coverage as well throughout the day. So uh, make sure you uh, hit the WWs and bbc.co.uk. Yes, forward slash, 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 yes, forward slash uh, Northwest 200. Uh, that's Brian and Ryan Farquhar, isn't it? That we're tracking down there. The helicopter doing its best. It's not as fast as these bikes, unfortunately, so they're going to zoom in when the bikes go flying past the helicopter that's absolutely in a dive trying to keep up with them. That's why we have motorcycle racing and not helicopter racing, I suppose. Yeah, never as much fun as this. Uh, email here comes in from uh, Roisin Cummins, which is Connor's uh, sister. How's my big brother doing, Connor Cummins? Well, Connor Cummins, I don't know if he's out in this one, but he went pretty good in the first session this morning. Uh, sorry, uh, in the earlier session, so Connor's doing very well. The big six foot two Isle of Man rider. Six foot two under rest. Yeah, Connor Cummins, yeah, Van Fit uh, Yamaha rider, bike number 20. Uh, he's certainly due to go out in this session. I'm not sure if he's gone. I'm sure he probably has gone out. But uh, yeah, he's had a great couple of years since he switched to the roads. He had a, a fantastic first year in the Yamaha R6 Cup and uh, he had, did a second year, wasn't so hot switch to the roads and uh, yeah he's really taken to it and he's become a very very popular rider and also uh, dispelling a few myths as well as Plater leaves and he's gone back out now so his electronics possibly being looked at but uh, talking about Connor Cummins 